We'll do it while it's quiet and if it gets, if it gets crazy. is a way of thinking about how things work in the world um, and thinking first about the feelings and the outcomes and the goals of your customer, or your visitor, or your participant, or your student, or your client, and putting them at the center of everything that you design, whether it's a program or a service or a space. Um, and it's really kind of fundamentally changed the way that we do business at the library. A couple years ago, um, when we first started working with Adaptive Path more closely and applying human-centered design and design thinking to the way that we work at the library, I could not go anywhere and not to the gas station, to the post office, to a restaurant, and not have this thought of, wow, this would be so much better if they just understood human-centered design or this could be designed so and I started having that feeling like everywhere I went to the, to the point where it was annoying and then I realized that if the library became really good at this and we could help more people understand this we would live in such a better place. When you put the recipient of a service whether you call them a student, a customer, a client, a citizen, you know and their needs and their feelings and goals at the center of what you're doing, um, real change is possible. And so I think that human-centered design, design thinking, service design, whatever you want to call it, um, applies to every industry. Um, applies to uh, education, government, hospitality. Um, there's really nothing that can't benefit from knowing how to use these. It will be very interactive. It will be a lot of fun. Um, I think that, um, you know, the worst thing that's gonna happen is that people walk out knowing people that they didn't know before, and they will know how to use tools that they didn't even know existed that they can apply in their personal life or their professional life. So I think there's so much benefits gonna, just by being a participant, you're gonna get so much out of it. As much as you are giving back to Columbia and the community, you're gonna get a lot out of it as well. really hope that on Saturday when those teams are pitching their ideas about how to maximize use and enjoyment of the rivers and public space on the river that the group is so excited that if there are 10 things that are presented that over the next two years all 10 of those things actually happen that somebody picks them up and runs with them um, now we do have money thanks to the Central Carolina Community Foundation to award to a group um, at least one group um, to help get their project idea going and get it moving um, but the best thing that could possibly happen is that people get so excited about these creative possibilities that are doable that we have um, some alignment among developers, elected officials, philanthropic people that want to see things happen on the river and they all get done. That's it! Yay! <laughs>